Hello Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Pisces. Okay, seven of uh, wands coming through. So you guys feel the need to stand your ground in a particular situation. Let's see what this is about. Needing to defend yourself. The hermit, uh, the hermit um, taking a look within. Let me see, withdrawn from a particular situation. What is this about? The eight of swords. Advice is the lovers. Overall energy is the Four of Pentacles, the Magician, the Devil. Let me see what this is about. Overall energy. There's something that you're holding on to that is, you're not going to be able to hold on to it much longer. So, it's, some of you guys, um, let me dive more into this. Let me dive more dive more into this because with this energy, there's quite possibly there's something that you're wanting to manifest. Um, I'm really getting um Pisces, someone here. Okay, with the magician, there's something that you want to manifest for yourself. Quite possibly you grew up, you didn't have much when you were a child. Um, if not, some of you guys could have had a lot growing up, but you were taught to like be, um, to hold on to your money. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to say stingy. I'm, I'm going to say frugal. Okay. You were taught to be very frugal. Okay. With your finances, but it's like, you're holding on to something. It's no point of you, like the way you're holding on to this, it's no point of you doing that. Uh, because like you'll either have to spend it anyways, or it's it's going to be taken away. One, it's, it's almost like you can't take it to the grave with you. I'm not quite sure what the situation is, but I'm going to see what the devil is because it's a particular situ situation. The message I'm getting is the way you receive it is the way it, it will be taken away. So if someone did not gain some uh, money the right way, then you'll end up losing it the same way. So like if you took advantage of someone to gain some money, and if someone did this to you, Pisces, if you took advantage of someone to get money, then ultimately what's going to happen it may not be that person, but someone else will come into your life. They'll take advantage of you and strip you of your finances as well. One way or the other, someone's going to have to pay for the way they accumulated some finances here. It wasn't done the right way. And it's almost like someone is trying to hold on to it with all their might, but the time is approaching where they have to pay back what they stole. So whether it's, I don't necessarily get like the court involved in a particular situation, but I am definitely getting there's a situation where someone did not receive money the right way. And I'm not saying that this is you, but take it as it resonates. Whoever didn't do something the right way in regards to gaining uh, some finances is going to come back. It's coming back. Um, some of you guys, it could have been you, like someone took advantage of you because your overall, or, or not your overall energy, your energy is a seven of wands. So feeling like you need to stand your ground in a particular situation. What is this about? Definitely remaining strong in a particular situation. I uh, definitely am getting this. You're showing a lot of strength here. We got the strength, the queen of pentacles, and the queen of swords. Okay. So showing a lot of strength within a particular situation. 
you know, I'm getting like an apology being made and whoever is making this apology, they're apologizing and they're leaving it at that. They're basically saying, I'm not going to continue to kiss your ass. I'm not going to continue to um, bend over backwards for you. Either you accept my apology or you don't. So, And that's like the attitude that I get coming from this person, unless this is you. And yeah, because this is the thing. Someone did something that pissed off several people. And whoever did this, because I don't know if this is you, Pisces. It's coming up in your energy, but this could be the way you feel about someone else. Someone did something that pissed off a lot of people. And whoever did this, they're basically saying, look, I'm not going to continue to kiss your ass. I'll apologize. I'll leave it at that. Either you accept my apology or you don't. And that's the attitude that's coming from this person. It's really disgraceful, to be honest, because whatever they did, it was very hurtful. So, and it's like they're apologizing, but there's no uh, sincerity within their apology. Now, the challenge is someone needing to go within, um, and they're not doing it. Give me more about the Hierophant. Or not the Hierophant, the Hermit. Yes. It's really needing to start over from scratch. But the issue is... Before, before something can start over from scratch, whoever is responsible for this situation, they're needing to take a look within. They're needing to like assess why... Did I feel like it was okay to do that? Why did I, you know, someone's really needing to question their actions within a particular situation. It's like they want people to come back into their life or to work with them, but everyone is like, okay, you screwed us over, but you want us to be a part of your life. That's not going to work. You need to take a look within yourself. I'm not quite sure who this person is. Let me see. The outcome is the Eight of Swords. This is self-prison. This is what happens when people don't do right. Because this is what I'm getting. The outcome is the Eight of Swords. So if, this, if someone did this to you, Pisces, ultimately what's going to happen with this person, they're not holding themselves accountable. So what's going to happen is their guilt is going to get the best of them. We have a thing called self-judgment here. So even when someone carries on, acts like they don't care, they have this voice in the back of their mind that is constantly telling them, make things right. And the more they ignore it, the louder it gets. To the point where they're trapped in their own mind, okay? Their thoughts are getting the best of them because they constantly try to ignore it. So uh, I'm getting like someone coming into this person's life or someone that they'll actually listen to and telling them to do the right thing in order for them to be set free of this energy because it's ultimately going to eat them alive, okay? If they don't, if they don't do the right thing, this voice is going to become so loud that it's hard for them to carry on with their life. Your advice is the lovers. Why is... I'm going to make sure these can flip over. Why is the lovers here? Oh. Someone will extend an olive branch. Whoever this person is is someone that you have a lot of love for. And the decision is yours. I do get that at some point, someone's going to talk sense into this person and they'll make right of the situation. I don't get initially the apology will be sincere. I don't get that you're the only person that this person has screwed over. There are several people that are furious with this person for whatever they did. Uh, the lovers, okay. I'm definitely getting the advice for you is when the time approaches for this person to make things right, 
to be open, okay? Everyone deserves a second chance, especially if they've done what they needed to to heal from this situation or to make things right. It doesn't mean that you have to allow this person into your life um, if you feel like they'll do the same thing. But at least be open to it uh, to bring about healing to this situation. Let's see. Any more? Any more messages? I don't get the courts are involved in this situation. Yeah, I definitely see an apology being made. Um, someone is going to extend an olive branch, an apology at some point. An apology will be made. And they're just advising you to uh, be open to it. You know, so it's like at some point they are going to learn the lesson. And there will be remorse. But right now, I'm not seeing it in their energy at all. It looks like they operated out of greed. They didn't take anyone other than themselves into consideration at all. And it affected a lot of people. So, yeah. And then the Seven of Swords went into show face. They really, they thought they were going to get away with this, but what ended up happening is the same trap that they set out for everyone else is the same trap that they got caught up in. So someone thought they were going to get away with something. They were being very deceitful and they ultimately end up getting caught in their own trap. Okay. That's what I'm title, you guys. Is. Let me write that down because I'll forget by the end of this message. Okay, let's see. Messages for Pisces who are already in a connection. Messages for the Pisces who are already in a connection. Okay, we have Renewal. Seven of Swords. Our time is Ace of Pentacles. But what is this Ace of Pentacles involving? Some of y'all could have been the person that you're in a relationship with. Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely working things out within this connection. There was some sort of... Some of you guys could have... It looks like if you're in a relationship, someone could have got kicked out of the house. But it looks like you guys are going to restore this connection. Some of you guys could have left the house. You know, if you're upset with someone, you don't want to be in the house with that person. You guys could have stayed at a friend's or a family member's. Um, but it looks like some sort of either you are considering an ending within this relationship or an ending took place. But it looks like you guys are now working things out. Um, you do want this uh relationship to be restored you want renewal within this situation their energy is coming through as the seven of swords so there's still some deceit within your person's energy to be honest let's see what this is about they feel the need to be cautious as well so maybe they maybe you're the one who was the uh, deceitful towards this person the sun so there is some sort of revelation that has taken place the light has been shown. The truth has been revealed in a particular situation. I'm not sure what this is. Pisces, is this you? Were you the one that was deceitful towards this person? Or were they deceitful towards you? Their energy is coming through as a seven of swords. So either they are the deceiver or they feel deceived by you. And the truth has been revealed with the sun. The sun illuminates things. The sun will reveal the truth. The light has been shown, okay? Um, and with the Ace of Swords, there's some sort of communication, but it doesn't look like it's good communication because someone's worst fears has become their reality. So they, whatever someone was fearing within a situation, it looks like the truth has been revealed and they don't like what was revealed. But despite whatever happened in this situation, I definitely see the two of you working on this. 
uh, I don't see you guys separating. There could have been a minor separation, but I see you guys working through it. Okay, messages for the Pisces who are in separation from their person. Messages for the Pisces in separation from their person. King of Swords. The Will of Fortune. And the Sun. Okay. King of Pentacles. So you can depend on this person. They are, like, when they come back, they're very sincere. Um, this person is definitely hoping for things to work out. Um, they feel like this connection is meant to be. They feel like two of you are meant for one another. Your energy is coming through as the king of swords. So you're, you're a bit cold and distant towards this uh, person, towards this relationship. Okay. Now with the king of swords, it's like you feel like you know this person very well. Also, let me see. I want to clarify your energy. They definitely respect you. Yeah, okay. So I'm really getting, you have several options here. Um, but I do get that you want to give to this situation. You feel like this person makes you really happy or you at least see your 10 of cups with this person. Meaning you see yourself having a very beautiful life with this person. You don't see it with the other options. Um, now, your energy is coming across like you know that if you continue to hold back your energy, it's, it's only a matter of time before they come towards you. And I'm getting that you're correct. Quite possibly by summertime, you can expect to hear from this person because I definitely am getting a lot of happiness with the outcome of this situation. So, I do see you and this person reconciling. Okay, messages for my single Pisces, please and thank you. Messages for a single Pisces. Okay, so there's a lot of confidence coming from your energy. People are find you, finding you very attractive at this time, and it's because of how confident you feel about yourself. So um, it's attracting a lot of suitors towards you. Page of Wands. So you have someone new coming in that's going to spark your uh, interest. Someone that you'll be really excited about. I don't know why I just got the show Scare Tactics. Someone could really love... I love that show. That was one of my favorite shows. I wish they start coming out with some new episodes. I know uh, the one little kid from... Um, gosh, what's that one show called? I don't remember. But he's, he remade it. But I wish they would come back out with that show and do it right. Because, man, that show was great. But someone could really like that show. Someone could have been on that show. Either you were the one who got pranked or you were an actor on the show. So, but I'm getting specifically scare tactics for someone. Okay. Five of Cups. Strength. Give me one more. Why the Five of Cups? of cups hold on I gotta clarify this give me why is the five of cups here ace of cups you know I don't get it with this person um you definitely have a new beginning and love the second place um 
to be honest, although you have a new option coming in, there's disappointment here. Grief and disappointment in regards to a previous situation that did not work out or is not working out. And I'm getting that you remain patient, very strong, um, very patient within this situation, hoping that things will work out. I'm definitely getting you looked at this person as your true love. You felt like this was the one you were meant to be with. But then there's new love that's coming in because things are not progressing in this situation between you and someone in the past that you've been struggling to release. So even though like you're extremely confident and I definitely am getting someone new coming in that's going to spark your interest, what you're not showing to the rest of the world is that you're still struggling to release someone from the past, accepting some sort of ending. Some of you guys even compare uh, people to this past person as well because you felt like that was your true love. You felt like that was the one you were truly meant to be with. Okay, messages regarding the person that Pisces is crushing on. Messages regarding the person that Pisces is crushing on. Wise counselor. So you want commitment. You you ready. You, you see yourself marrying this person. You want a commitment out of this. You're ready to be committed to this. Let's see what their energy is showing. The chariot. Oh, they want this as well. They want this as well with the chariot. They don't care what anyone has to say. Outcome is being very strategic about how you guys move within this connection. That's my fault. Let me get one more about the five of swords. I'm getting that you guys are just being very strategic because you don't want to make the same mistakes that you made in previous connections. Um, let me give one more. Yeah, uh, I like it though with the King of Pentacles. So whatever you desire to achieve out of this situation, it looks like you'll get just that. And I mean, I'm really getting because you're playing your cards right in the past. I'm getting that you just learned a lot of harsh lessons in the past, which allows you to know how to move in this relationship that you find yourself in now. Okay, messages regarding new love for Pisces. New love for Pisces, please and thank you. New love for Pisces. Okay, so we have a secret admirer, or you guys are crushing on someone. Page of Cups is showing up in your energy, meaning you're crushing on someone. So you're admiring someone. Let's see what's coming through with this. So, I mean, they're coming up in your new love. So, wow. How the Queen of Swords pop up in the uh, divorce? Someone could have recently been divorced. Let me see. I want to get one more. I don't read these in reverse. I know it came out for a reason, but... You may, this person may have just recently ended a connection with someone else and they're not right now. They're not interested in being in a relationship right now. Okay, messages regarding new love for Pisces. New love for Pisces, please and thank you. Awakening, okay. I don't get anything developing within this connection anytime soon. I'm definitely getting... outcome is a dreamer so you guys will take a risk towards this let me get one more about um the hangman here I, i'm getting that right now this person feels a little bitter in regards to love and they'll have to change their perspective on this before they can even see the possibility of being in a relationship with you i definitely see that a relationship is taking place but i need to clarify if it's this if it's with this person or not because there's a connection that you're taking a leap of faith towards. But with the full energy, this is someone that you'll have a great time with. To be honest, if let me let me just clarify this person real quick. Let me do that. No, no, no. Um, Pisces, don't don't get your hopes up about this person. Okay, they're still waiting for their past person to return. 
They're, they're still hoping. They're caught up on their past person. They're not interested in you. And I know it sounds a little harsh, but I have to be very truthful with you guys because I don't want y'all sitting up here wasting your time with someone who's just trying to play games or using you as a space filler. And that's exactly what they're doing. Um, the outcome of the situation, this person's just using you to have a good time. That's all. They're not looking for a commitment out of this. They just want to have a good time while they're waiting for their past person to return or they're waiting for things to rekindle between them and the past person. So don't get your hopes up about this situation. I do see a wish fulfillment coming in, but it's not with this person, okay? Ooh, let me make sure I don't get these mixed up. Okay. Final message. I'm actually going to use another deck for you guys. Final message. Children. Drastic. Ooh, love affair. It's a lot there. What's the significance of this? Chasing hot pursuit. And someone who's like in like a midlife crisis here um quite possibly i'm getting this more for someone like in their 40s 50s doesn't have to be i'm getting someone who has children with someone and it looks like either the children are cutting someone out of their life or the other parent is cutting this person out of the children's life as a punishment because of a love affair that has taken place um, if, if this is you, if you're punishing someone that you're with because of a love affair that has taken place, oh yes, they're going to feel it. I definitely am getting that they will be, uh, chasing after you again. Let me get, let me see what's going on. Yeah. Anxiety. They feel lost right now. I'm getting a particular situation. This is very specific for someone who has children with someone else. And it looks like whoever, uh, whoever you were with, they had an affair with someone and it looks like it was found out. And because once you found out about this affair, you cut this person off. I don't get that you're even allow you're even allowing your children to see this person. Some of you guys, your children has made the choice to cut this person out because they're upset about the affair that has taken place unless they're really young and you're making that decision for them. Um, this person is, yeah, they're trapped in their mind at this time. Like the situation is weighing very heavily on their mind at this time. Um, I want to get more about this bounty hunter. So, I mean, they could have some legal issues going on as well. I, <laughs> I know y'all didn't, uh, like, if this person has warrants, y'all could have told the police where this person is at. Let me see. Telepathic dreams. Um, No, I'm really getting more of a situation where this person is trying to reach out to you. Because whatever this situation was, it's not something that is lasting or was ever meant to last. They're obsessing over this situation and I'm getting that you're done. To be honest, whoever they uh, had this affair with, it looks like this person has... I'm going to tell you what. It looks like whoever they were having an affair with is the one that ended this connection. And I'm not going to lie, like your person's energy is coming through like they're obsessed with this person. Give me more about this. 
Give me more about this. Splish. Pressure cooker ready to explode. Settlement. Some of y'all are going through a divorce with this person. And they're begging you not to. But you feel the need to, like, get rid of this person. And I am definitely getting, like, part of it is because, like, you're retaliating. You're pissed off about what they did. I don't really necessarily see anything wrong with it unless... If they don't cause, if they don't mean any harm to the children, I don't see the cause for you to punish them, like with not allowing them to see the children. Because I am definitely getting a situation where quite possibly you were married to this person. Uh, you're in the process of filing for a divorce or you're about to. Because I'm going to be honest with you, if like they're sitting up here and telling you that this was just a one-time thing or they don't really have feelings towards this person. They're lying. They're obsessed with this other person. And whoever this other person is, they either ended this relationship or they will be the ones in this relationship, not the person that you're separating from because they're literally upset or obsessed with this person. So they're just, they, they're afraid of losing everything because of what's going on. But This is pretty. Let me, I gotta get one more. I gotta get one more. Yeah, someone feels crushed and threatened. Swear flames. This is why I'm going to tell you, Pisces, whoever is doing the cheating, they're going to be caught and it's not going to turn out well for them at all. Whoever is not cheating, they're going to find true love. They're going to find someone who loves them unconditionally, someone who treats them right. And whoever is doing this cheating and they're expecting things to work out between them and the other person, it's not. And it looks like if you have children with this person, especially if they're old enough to make decisions on their own, they're not going to want anything to do with the uh, the parent that's doing the cheating because they're really pissed off about how they broke up, you know, the home. So whoever's doing the cheating, it's not going to turn out well for them at all. And if you're being cheated on, you'll find... The, I'm thank this person for cheating on you, to be honest. Thank them for cheating on you because they're making room for someone who's going to love you unconditionally. Twin flame energy, someone who truly matches your energy on every level. So thank them because you'll realize that you were never meant to be with this person in the first place. You were just forcing this to be because of the expectations of your family. It's, it's just the love was not really there. It, it was made, you know, but it wasn't there. But you're about to meet someone who loves you unconditionally. And this person, they're going to go through hell because of what they put you through. And especially if you guys have children as well. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button. I'm also going to tell you what because it looks, if this has not been revealed yet, someone is on the verge of exploding. So this situation is reaching its head. It's about to pop, okay? I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.